Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius, aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. Alright, so this video will be talking about the podium vehicle, the GP1. Yes, the GP1 is on the podium right now. It's in the casino. So if you can spin the wheel and win this, go for it. Absolutely. In this video, we'll be talking about the customization. We're talking about the performance and whether or not it's worth you paying for if you cannot win it on the podium all right it is a super class if you do have to pay for it it is one million two hundred and sixty thousand dollars all right let's get right into it first and foremost make sure you guys drop a like on the video if you do enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and make sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss any content in future videos that i post all right so with the customization of the gp1 it's actually really good. The customization is it's quite refreshing. Uh, the only thing that it really lacks is having some liveries, which would have been nice, but that's okay. The customization is definitely going to be in one of the top tier parts of, you know, or some of the top tier vehicles. It's going to have a lot that you can, you know, fool around with and play with and just kind of, you know, waste a lot of money on it. That's the, I love that with the cars. I mean, there's nothing worse than spending over a million dollars on a vehicle. And all you can do is change the wheels and the paint. That's ridiculous, right? So you've got hood, you've got spoilers, you've got skirts, you've got lights, bumpers, all that good stuff. I mean, and there's a couple of things on here. Uh, there's some unique features with the exhaust you guys just saw. There's a couple of cool things with, you know, having a visibility for the engine on the back of the vehicle, which is really cool too. I mean, those things, that's really nice. I like that. And that's important to have with these cars, especially when we get into the performance, which we'll talk about that here in just a minute. Uh, if you see right here, the rear covers, you're able to see, depending on how you you have your exhaust set up you can see the exhaust pipes and things like that going to the back which i think is really cool it's a cool feature that rockstar added for that now talking about the paint you've got your primary you've got your secondary the secondary covers you know engine components uh your lights your mirrors things like that you have trim as well which is really nice anytime you have the interior that you can modify that's always an added bonus that's always an added plus and again it makes you just you know uh, it's it's good to be able to you know get your money's worth uh, one more thing that I would have liked to have seen was suspension there is no suspension upgrades you can't lower the vehicle but that's all right no big deal right so let's talk about the drivetrain and other features with this vehicle so the GP1 is a rear wheel drive vehicle okay and that kind of is a little weird there's also something that's really unique with this car and there's a couple of others that have the same feature the gp1 has what's called downforce added to the vehicle this car is uh, one of a handful that were released with the stunt cars during the stunt uh, race dlc where a lot of the cars that came out with that dlc if not all of them had some sort of downforce added to them that was to help out with their handling on these tracks because the tracks are just so crazy and so wild and that really does affect this car and handling with races now top speed in a straight line the gp1 is just mediocre it's, it comes in i'd say top 15 in that range with the testing i've done uh so it's not going to win you any races on the drag strip and around a track even though this is a rear wheel drive vehicle or if there is any power to the front tires it's very very little this car suffers from a lot of understeer and the reason why is because of that downforce that downforce really smothers the vehicle in the corners it does not allow you to hit the corners aggressive and to just get in and out of them really fast that downforce it just kind of bogs you down and it kind of messes with the handling of the car and i mean this vehicle is not going to win you any races in a straight line or around a track now of course if you're using only gp ones that's different uh but you know this is just purely a luxury vehicle now it's not too crazy expensive and it does have a lot of customization that's what you would buy this car for is the customization and because of the nostalgia of being you know a mclaren or whatnot so well there you have it guys i hope you enjoyed the video if it did make sure you subscribe to my channel for the illest and realest content in the game smash i mean smash smash that like button and we'll see you guys in the next one all right peace out yeah